Welcome back, everyone. My name is Altamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wasteland 3. Where we left the last time, we were talking to Not Yet Skinned and Patsy. Uh, we learned how to get rid of one of them. What do you want now? We I guess nothing. Do. We're not allowed to. Um, who else can we talk to around here? There is Slave Hallie. Hallie's a person that presumably we can talk to. Fucking Rangers. I heard you joined up with the gangs. Makes <laughs> perfect sense for a bunch of vicious snakes to end up here. What do you want? Through grime and tangled hair, you recognize Haley McKay, the escaped slave you handed over to La Perla for access to the vaults in HQ. She has a lot of new scars and burns, and she's not so beautiful anymore. You look different. Yeah. Well, Steel Trap gets a kick out of destroying pretty things. He's had a lot of fun with me since I got here. Just him, me, his steel jaws. And a blowtorch. Sounds like Steel Trap, all right. After he lost his cock, his idea of fun changed. Yeah, he's a real fucking gentleman. He promised to cut off my arms and replace them with robotic ones. Ooh. So I've got a lot to look forward to, thanks to you. Sorry about that, had to take a quick phone call. How'd you end up here anyways? Who do you think slavers sell slaves to? La Perla brought me right to the Scar Collectors. All thanks to you. You're welcome. So she doesn't like me very much, for fairly obvious reasons. But that's fine. Uh, let's talk to you. Stitches here. Ah, they call me Stitches. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. You need some stitching? I don't. Sure. Come back if you're bleeding. No other named slaves here so far. I guess we'll go deal with the uh, first group up here. Let's go talk to whatever her name was, the Godfisher lady. Do not Halo speak Moon. to us. Do not speak no to us. How dare you disturb my meditations? You know Cordite, right? Where is Crew? I suppose I know him. One wild dog looks much like another. Rude. Do they? You're Cordite? Hmm. Okay. What do you want? Maybe your gods have sent us to save Star the Dreams from the mess that Liberty Buchanan is making. Don't talk about what you don't know. You are not god fishers. You don't know our gods. True, but gods work through unwitting vessels, don't they? Maybe that's us. You? <laughs> On the other hand, who better? Fine. How will you save Star the Dreams? One sec. The volume's low. There we go. He'd believe a sign from the gods, right? Maybe we could arrange one. Hmm. Interesting. I have been thinking the same. Only an omen will convince Star that dreams to leave this camp. And I have known for many weeks what that omen should be. I have just not found the courage to follow through. Perhaps your rude interruption is a sign that I must act. Not when we're here. Near the wind farm where we fly our kites is an old ice cream truck. Meet me there. But you must promise not to tell Star that dreams of this. He must see my omen as a miracle. And not a suicide. Uh, wait a minute. What kind of omen are we talking about? I have taught Star that dreams how to read the signs the sky sends us. Uh-huh. When he finds my body, hanging from a kite, flying from the Alaska surprise truck, he will see it as a clear message to go north, which is what I have been begging him to do since we came to this Congress of Snakes. Okay. If Star the Dreams won't do its best for the Godfishers, why not hang him from the kite and lead them out of here yourself? If you do not understand me at all 
I love my husband more than living. <laughs> well, it's just dumb. He's an idiot. And to help him achieve his destiny, I would kill myself a thousand times over. He is the chosen of the gods who will lead my people to their promised land and no, make I don't them think he's... lords. I don't think so. I think he's an idiot. All right, we'll meet you. How do we find the ice cream truck? Head toward the mechanic's garage. Then take the track around past it. You will soon see the path to the wind farm. Follow it past the Bayaso outpost. And you will find the ice cream truck. Stay away from the godfishers at the wind farm. Before my courage fails me. Well, okay then. I guess we're going to go do that. Let's go kill her. Or, I guess, watch her die maybe is more accurate. Now, how do we get there? I guess it's... Oh, it's this way. Maybe it's not this way. Hang on. That leads to the Scar Collector Mine. That leads to Colorado. That leads to the Godfisher Wind Farm. Which one am I at currently? We were at the Scar Collector Mine. That is not the place we're headed. We're going this way. And then this way? Yeah, that looks correct. Okay. I guess it was just past where we killed those buffalo, or the big, what are they, buffaloes in this game? It's a buffalo from. It's gonna bug me now. Oh, Godfisher Wind Farm. Let's do this thing. The Godfishers are part gang, part apocalyptic cult, sacrificing prisoners on huge leather kites to their strange sky gods. Yeah, they're pretty. Pretty insane. That's the wrong way. Alright. Godfisher Wind Farm. There's also the Meat Clown, which we should probably do while we're here. Oh, hi! Bienvenidos to Meat Clown Barbecue! I'm Risky Brisket. What'll you have? Er, aren't you a payaso? Hey, clowns gotta eat too, right? Now, what do you want? We got the clown burger and... Yeah, well, actually, that's it. We're out of everything else. What's in a clown burger? Only one way to find out, mix corazones. What's it gonna be? We sent some slaves your way. We're here for our reward. <laughs> that was you? Oh, well, ain't you sweet. <laughs> I've got some good stuff buried out behind the meat locker. It's all yours. Once you eat a clown burger. <laughs> All right, we'll try it. <laughs> now the curse passes to you. Uh, I mean, enjoy your burger. I will. What's in this thing, achievement? Well, they won't. They they it are. It's fine, but your seasoning is complete shit. What the fuck did you Everyone's use? Badger disease. Glass? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> you ate it. You are you loco? Nobody in their right minds would put that in their mouth. What do we just eat? <laughs> what? Or who? Nobody worth eating again. Definitely not edible Ed. Y'all come back now, okay? <laughs> what did we get? We have clown trots, which means we have uh, poops. We have the poops. Luckily we have antidotes, I think. Do we have antidotes? We have... Yeah, we got some. Let's just quickly get rid of all of our poop problems. That solves that. And uh, we are going to murder these people just because experience. But first, let's go. Wait, where's the rest of my group? Not coming. The rest of the group, come with me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Buried items. Got an Alaska surprise jingle and some other junk. Well, that is a terrifying sound. I guess we should probably do this thing first. Seems like the Alaska Surprise truck was caught by surprise when erosion opened a sinkhole under it. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go murder these people. But after we get the toaster first, that's important.
a toaster helmet and some toast and some money. There's also something to loot there. There's a barbecue, of course. Let's line everyone up and get ready to kill things. Let's get you to cover. Let's get you... Sure, here is probably fine. I'm gonna get you right beside someone so that I can just punch them to death immediately. Same thing with you. Vic needs to be somewhere else. Maybe like here. Scotch milk can be over here-ish. That's a barrel that's going to explode. Don't do anything to that, please. All right, everything's good. Let's mark one up and kill them. Let's mark up Risky Brisket, I think. No targets in range. I mean, I can't mark her. All right, we'll start the fight with someone else then so we can mark. There are... Three payasos up here. Actually, we could probably start the fight by using Scotchmo. I kind of wish that guy was back up here. Maybe he'll come back here. Yeah, there he comes. Alright, what do we got around? So, well, let's mark you. Should be enough to give us a precision strike. Headshot that one. Did not kill her, but close enough. Um. Almost killed that one. Defend. Let's see what we can do here. Dead. 4 AP to here, and we can probably kill it with a smash. Not quite, but it's stunned anyway, so that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we'll finish this one off. Even though I really didn't need to use three attacks to kill it, but whatever. Uh, if I move up here, I can still hit him, I think. It's gonna hit the nitrogen tank, so we shouldn't do that, maybe. Let's just move up to cover. And you got 3 AP, which is enough to shoot, actually. We could probably kill her. I'm not really sure why he shot that direction, but okay, fine, whatever. Something's going weird with Scotchmo. He did kill the guy that I wanted him to. Kind of? Let's finish that one off. There's like a delay in attacks. It's very weird. That was better. And that's the end of the fight. Pretty easy, they didn't even get a turn. We did end up nitrogening, I think. Fish lips a little bit, but he's fine. Bunch of garbage. Let's see what this is. It says, Kzzk. and that's all it says. There is something in this door. Which we can loot through the wall, apparently. Clown Burger and a Risky Brisket's recipe. Alright. I'm gonna teach all you payasos how to make a clown burger so I don't have to do everything around here every fucking day, okay? No. What makes a clown burger a clown burger is how you season the meat. Any meat will do. Mice and beef or alternatives, as long as you follow this recipe. First, grind the meat, then add a pint of snake squeezins, a tube of toothpaste, a handful of chilies, and some of those mushrooms that grow out near the latrine. Mix thoroughly, then let it rest in a warm, moist place for three days. While you're waiting, make the buns. First, steal some flour from some squares, then mix it all together in one. Okay. Well, that was something for sure. Let's let's give him more speed, strength, speed. Let's give him more hit points. It's probably more important than whatever else I was gonna give him anyways. Weapon modding is up to six now, which is still not enough, but is better than 
what we had currently. Or previously, I guess I should say. Hmm. I really want to put perk points into. We do have other people with levels, though. Let's do Vix Intelligence up to maximum now, so we can actually shoot things better. Animal Whisperer, higher level, and we also get another perk. We don't have the perk for that yet, but let's grab this Spirit Animal thing, and we'll wait for Vengeful Bond, maybe, if we can get it later. And then we also have Fish Lips leveling up, and he is working on Armor Maw. No, he's not. He's working on Melee Combat, because it's not a 10 yet. Really gotta get that up to 10. So, wait, do we have a book for that? Hang on. One moment, please. First aid weapon modding, leadership brawling, whisperer, melee combat. We are now level 10 melee combat. Is there a level 10 melee combat skill? Blunt weapon. Yeah, we're using something different at this point. Um, Who's armor modding? You're weapon modding. You're nothing. You're already maxed out armor modding, so you don't need to armor mod anything. What else do we need? What else can we have? Let's go with weird science, I guess? Why not? Doesn't really particularly help anything at the moment. We already have pretty good armor. Although we could get more combat armor. We can get more of this exo... Wait, go this way. No, up. There we go. This exo... exoskeleton stuff. It is the same armor as... Is it actually the full same armor as, um, power armor? It's got a little bit less armor in the, well, maybe not. Maybe it's just power armor. That's chem tech, though. That's not even exo tech. Um, do we have the exo helmet, maybe? Exoskeleton helmet, 13, 13. So it is, it is just a melee damage bonus on top of literally being power armor. So we might as well just throw it on. No, honestly, it looks really silly without the chest piece, though. We really need that, uh, exo armor chest piece, because that looks ridiculous. But once we get all three pieces, should be pretty good. We should also get him some cyborg implants, so that we can give him, um, one of those weird hand things. Uh, this one. Melee damage bonus plus 10%. Cyber fist. We'll go do that between well, some other time. We'll go get that done. But let's go do a Halo to Moon right now. Good. Fetch me a kite. Steal an unused kite from the bone pit near the wind farm. There should be some usable kites near the bone pit where we throw the limbs of the sacrifices before they are sent to the sky. Ew. Wild animals prowl there, attracted by the meat, so be careful. Take the unguarded path on the heights. Okay. Hurry. There's a weird lag. I'm gonna reload the game and just see what's going on. There's like a very strange like lag whenever I do anything. I'll be right back and we'll see if we can fix this problem. Hang tight. Welcome back everyone. Let's do this thing. We hopefully fixed our little problem. There's a weird like heartbeat sound. But also That's the shrine entrance, so we must have to go the other way. I don't think we're supposed to go up this shrine. I think we're probably gonna have to go up this way. Yeah, this looks correct. So there are drools here, many drools. One, two, three, there's at least one lost soul. Lost souls are arguably the worst ones. We're gonna try and mark it and shoot it ahead of time. I see an opening! There's also bile bombers. I did not notice that. That is less good. Let's see if we can't take out this lost soul, though. Come on, good crit. 1650 is a pretty good shot. It is just not good enough. Unfortunately, that's just a reality. We're going to have to go in and uh, nuke these things, I think. Let's move up a little to about here. We can hit three of them. There's a Bile Bomber there, but... We could hit two of them over there. I think we can only hit three, though. Might be bad best to hit the three there. Did some moderately good damage. I think they're immune to radiation, actually, because I think they're radiation monsters, basically. So we can't really do too much about that. Uh, let's go up and punch this drool. We're going to use other people to try and kill the Bile Bomber. 
We need Cordite in a position where he can... No, there's two Bile Bombers. This is gonna suck. This is gonna be a lot of damage coming our way, unfortunately. Scotchmo is gonna move up and try and kill those ones. Whether or not he's able to is gonna depend entirely upon his luck. We very nearly killed it, so I think Vic can probably finish that one off, which he will do. Or he won't do because he hit the cover. He should have been over a step, that was my own fault. Um, on one hand I want to go fight something else, but on the other hand I think I need to kill this thing first. So 6 AP up to there. It's going to blow up I think when we kill it. And almost kill him. Let's use a thing. He's poisoned, but at least he got some healing off. And we're going to move back to cover, because the Lost Soul does do shots. Cordite might die, although he's doing a pretty good job at taking the hits. Good god. Okay, well, we can't really stop like nine attacks. They do so many attacks. Is that bomber going to blow up our already dead person? Vic is technically still alive, and Alira is also still alive. And that one just shot somewhere in the distance. Okay, if you could stop having like eight attacks, that would be super. Come on, Toaster, hit once. Well, I guess I can't really say it didn't hit once. Our dog is doing a bunch of attacks. Fair amount of damage too. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to kill so many things and also save fish lips. So he needs some antidote first. He's not poisoned. He's definitely poisoned. I think give a quick slot it. Okay, use that on yourself. What's that put us for AP? Okay, so we'll still be able to swing twice even if we heal. Let's hit this drill. One, and two, and with the extra hip. Which I think we got. Good, perfect. So this drill, or this lost soul, still has a ton of life. Uh, we do have our gun. There's still these two up here too, that's less good. Although Scotchman can probably kill them both. Scotch will go this way. Wait, we should reload first. Oh, three, eight. Never mind. Alright, they're both almost dead. We could spray and pray them, which isn't the worst idea. So those ones are both dead. There's no way we're going to make a good, clean shot on this guy. We can shoot him, though. Decent hit. And then move back. There's still this drill here. Uh, we're going to take him out with Alira. And then we just have the Lost Soul left. Which is unfortunately going to be a tough thing to kill. Our main character's gonna die. He doesn't have the hit points to take more than a couple hits from the Lost Soul. Fish Lips, however, can take a million hits. Oh, Vic. Oh, never mind. Scotch Mode took a hit. You know what? I'm actually really okay if Fish Lips takes some hits. That blood spray thing looked really cool, but wasn't very powerful. I wish our toaster would move into a more advantageous position. It's shooting the wall a lot. So it's got a bite thing. I don't know what that is. Some sort of bleeding effect or something, I'm guessing. Uh, we do have a shot. Didn't kill it. And fish lips can probably finish it off. Alright, so we did kill all the drools. We did get Cordite wounded a little bit, but he is fine. We'll heal him up. That was less bad than I thought it was going to be. What else we got lying around? Anyone else injured? 
No. I do want to find a better pet, but our dog is doing pretty okay for now. Eventually I want like a waste wolf would be amazing. We have to heal up our group a little bit. And then loot some bodies and grab any other goodies that are in the area. Which might be nothing, but we'll see. And then we'll uh we'll go get the kite. Anyone level up, by the way? Yep, fish lips. Oh, fish lips leveled up before, we just didn't give him his attribute point, which was silly. We also need to buy more antidotes at some point here. We've used all of ours up and they're pretty useful, so. Alright, attribute points. Let's see what we got. Intelligence. We could do intelligence, get him some more crit rate. Intelligence or luck? Let's go intelligence. It's pretty useful. And we have nothing really we want to do with this yet. So, looting bodies. Garbage. There's some traps. Is that a disarm 10? Damn. Everyone group up up here. It's a drug stash. With some drugs and a weapon crate and a booze box. Anything cool in the weapon crate? Uh, yes, the retirer. Which is a anti-robot slash vehicle revolver. It's, it's alright, I guess. We're gonna have another drill fight though. You can hear them making spooky sounds up here. Oh no, they're waste wormlings. Sorry, I was incorrect. They are not drills. There's something slightly more annoying because they'll have a big waste worm queen, which has a bajillion hit points. But then again, the kite is there, so we kind of need to go kill them. So let's move people. Luckily, they don't move too much, so we can kind of get people into position here. And Vic, you can go over there, and main character, you can go here, and Elyra can go over there, and who am I missing? Scotchmo. Alright, let's save, and we're gonna mark the queen. I got it. The rest of them are too hard to kill, honestly. The queen is very ugly. There's no way around it. It's just a horrifying thing. Let's try and throat shot it. It resisted the enrage, which is unfortunate, but not surprising. Um, yeah, let's just start taking these things out. That was less crits than I was hoping for. Get over here. And defend. Fortite, let's go beat up that one. The waste wormlings aren't too bad, it's the queen that's gonna suck, so let's just get rid of them so we don't have to deal with them later. And we'll just deal with the queen as it comes up. Okay, Scotchmo. If he moves there, he can shoot them both. Well, let's do that. He didn't kill the first one, and he isn't gonna... Oh, he did kill the second one. Cool. Let's move you over here. Someone's gonna go down, probably, in this fight. Almost certainly. There's almost no chance that someone's not gonna die. There's also some sort of scientist up here who is dead. Might as well shoot that one. He's only got a 40% chance of hitting the first one, and that's just not enough. And I guess maybe Fishlips is going to be the first one into mid. Wow, holy shit, that was a huge crit. Very impressed, Fishlips. Uh, you're probably going to die, though. Although, th <laughs> his crit damage isn't so Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that sucked. So we lost Vic. Uh, nobody else, just Vic. And luckily our Courageous is right here to shoot it with a bunch of fire damage. It's not going to do a whole bunch, but a little bit. 201 damage, not bad. It is still marked, but we're not going to be able to do too much damage to it because we suck apparently. And that's going to be that. Um, just to put up on it, I guess. Actually, can we rally? How close is everyone? 
Good, we got most of them. Rallied up, which means she can get another shot in. And that's it. For her. He is poisoned and is sending toe to toe with this horrible abomination. It's almost dead. Scotchmo is still alive, can move up. He's gonna have to reload probably right now. He's got two more shots. 92 damage left. Let's just do this. Alright, Vic is now alive again. Everyone mostly survived. It wasn't that bad. Just that one little kerfuffle involving it killing Vic. And he was more just unconscious than anything else. So this worked out really, really well. We are poisoned on Cordite, but that's just the reality of our situation. I don't care too much about that. Let's loot the doctor. He has a cassette and some scrap. Got the survey report back. It's actually worse than I expected. Subsidence rates are close to one and a half percent over a six month period. I warned the planning committee that the reservoir was going to be a problem. The soil up here is too sandy and erodes too easily. We should have set the pilings for the windmills about 30 feet deeper, but no one wanted to spend that kind of money. So now we have to keep a crew on payroll to keep shoring up the site. If we don't, then in a few years, they're all going to be lying around like pickup sticks. Discarded body parts not fit for a sky god's kite have been stripped clean of flesh by something very hungry. We killed the very hungry things, and there's the kite we needed, so let's just grab that over here. Kite completed. And we are free and clear, I believe. Let's go do this kite thing and then we'll call it a video. have a kite and enough people to launch it good now kill me and strap me to it you say so you attack haloed moon and step back as blood gouts from the wound she spasms involuntarily then nods as she falls to her knees you are braver than i expected now my arms and legs do it. You prepare to cut off Haloed Moon's limbs and bind to the kite. It will take all of you to hoist it high enough to let the wind catch it and raise it to the sky. When the rope pulls taut, you find a place to hide and observe and wait for Star of the Dreams to arrive. Brothers and sisters, hear me! There has been... A miracle. The gods of the sky knew I was deaf to their signs. So they took my beloved Halo Moon as a sign flown from a truck bearing the words Alaska Surprise. <laughs> the meaning could not be clearer. Our salvation lies in the north. So pack all your insane. tents and gather your slaves, my children. We must march. All crazy people. Anyone level up yet? Let's take a look at our levels, because I'm just kind of curious as how this all panned out. So, he is our highest level at level 28, almost level 29. She's level 27, 24, 24, 24, and 24. So, with all of the bonuses for getting all of his junk and stuff, he is only four levels ahead of everyone else. Which isn't, well, almost five levels, but still, not that, that much. Alright, let's get out of here. We've killed some people over at their garbage meals, and, uh, yeah, we're good to go.
Oops, wrong button. That's going to be the end of our video here. In the next video, we're going to go figure out how to deal with the payasos, and then we'll go from there. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.